Rockstar this week may actually have listened to their players and stopped with the roll XP bonuses because that's not helping any of us. Given it's not that much this week, but we do have something to actually grind. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMXer, thanks for checking out this week's weekly bonus and update video. We know there isn't any update this week. Don't have any dates on it at all. Rockstar didn't give us any information in the newswire letting us know maybe what's coming up. They, I can't believe they've even stopped at the bottom of their newswire stating stay tuned for more information on the next upcoming update. There are a few dates in this week's update though that are kind of, you know, hinting at maybe it's pushed out a little farther than we thought. And we'll, we'll get into that here in a little bit. First off, though, I wanted to give a big, huge shout-out to amazing supporter of the channel, Medic Gibby. Hit 365 days streak on his daily challenges last night. Pretty awesome, man. And shout-out as well, because he works in the current medical field, so your dedication to the game and helping us out in this time of need, man, is much appreciated. Thank you. So moving over to this week's Newswire, we got limited time clothing, of course. They like throwing that stuff at us. Moonshine bonuses and more. So that's right, we got some moonshine bonuses, and it's not roll XP, which we've always been getting over the last few weeks. We actually get a bonus in the cash, which is fantastic. I wish they did XP as well, and I wish it was a little more, but it's something. So we're getting 30% bonus on all moonshine sales. So if you go do a moonshine and you make a sale, you'll get 30% more XP, which or cash, just cash. I wish it was XP as well, as I just stated, but, you know. And 30% doesn't sound like much, but it's almost two times, which we see a lot in GTA. In my last week video, I was kind of ranting about that, that GTA always gets two and three times. So 30% more is, you know, what is that? About 75% bonus, like a, a 0.75, not quite two times. It's like a 1.75, right? I can't do math today, but 30% bonus. We did a moonshine sale. It wasn't a high level one. It was a two level one. So it should have been about 226. Ran into some issues, as you can see in the gameplay here. Lost one bottle. I still made over 200 bucks on a, a three-star 19-bottle delivery. I still wish that the posse would get more money with a Moonshiner, just like they do a trader, right? When you do a trader delivery, your posse gets half the money. So if we do 650 they get 325 Moonshine's way less, man. Posse does not get very much for the Moonshiner, maybe because... The, game, the Rockstar thinks that the Posse doesn't have to do much for the Moonshine because it just sits there and counts. You don't got to really fill up your crypts. The Posse really helps with that to get that stuff done. Uh, so I don't know. I wish I wish the Posse would get more with the Moonshine deliveries. But they do get 30% more to help you out this week getting that delivery done. So that's pretty awesome. Also, there's a bonus on a couple of collections as well. 50% too, which is a true two times. So they are listed into us a little bit. Two times money grab on arrowheads and birds. So the arrowhead collection and the bird egg collection, you get two times as much money, which is great because the eggs, bird eggs wasn't that much as anyway. So two times that, as well as the arrowheads was a mid-range one. So two times that, I think that makes it about as much as a, uh, a coin collection. So you can get out there and do your collections on arrowheads and bird eggs and make two times as much money selling those as are this week. That's pretty awesome. One discount that we're getting this week that probably isn't going to help very much people at all is a permanent posse creation fee has been waived. So if you haven't created yourself a permanent posse yet, uh, you can do it for free. That's right, for free through June 8th. This is the date I was talking about. So we haven't had any dates in here that have been beyond June 1st. We have a lot of discounts in the game. Well, bonuses and, and benefits that we get where you get a, uh, a coupon, right, that are good through June 1st. Now this uh, this thing's good through June 8th for permanent posse creation. And we have had some things carry over. Uh, I think during the Moonshiner roll, there was something that carried over one week into the Moonshiner roll. So maybe that's part of this. They Maybe there's something coming out with the new update that is going to be posse related. So they want to carry that over to get everyone excited. But no information on any update news. Just uh, that June 8th date in this week's Newswire. It's kind of disheartening because I don't want to see any, any dates in here that are beyond June 1st. I was hoping something's going to come here soon, but that's not great. We also have some discounts on some things we can actually use in the game. Not like horses, which we already own, saddles, we already own, guns, we already all already own. 
but stuff we actually use in the game where we can purchase more and more as the week goes on. We have a 40% discount on potent bait predator or potent herbivore bait and potent predator bait pamphlets if you haven't purchased those from the fence. I highly recommend picking those up. You know, they, they work fairly well. We have uh, the potent, er, potent, man, I can't talk today as well. We have the potent predator bait pamphlet. We've done a cougar video on that. It works pretty good. 40% off isn't too bad. If you're grinding that moonshiner roll, I mean like two deliveries and you can buy that pamphlet. Not too bad. Also half off tons of essential provisions. The good old dry goods. We got food, liquor, and tobacco items. Almost everything in the provisions is uh, 50% off. So you can go stock up on apples, which I actually wouldn't recommend that. You can go pick up apples at Braithwaite for free, like a whole satchel full. But canned goods, which is fantastic. I know it's a couple great spots to loot those, and I've showcased them in a few videos. But if you want to just go buy a whole bunch, canned goods are great for quickly getting your health up. I mean, it's in your weapons wheel, so you can just quickly get your health up if you need to in a pinch. Uh, we also have liquor, which is great for uh, getting your health to and your dead eye up pretty quick. And tobacco items, same reasons there. Get yourself, get yourself a full satchel of cigars so you can be uh, smoking when you're riding around in your uh, wagon there. So 50% off all those provisioned dry goods and uh, tobacco and liquor items. Fantastic. And of course, this week they're pushing over some limited time clothing items because uh, we had some in for two weeks and they have gone today. So we have... Two new outfits in the game, the Tasman and the Danobi. Uh, those two outfits are back in the game as well. We also have a couple hats. The Manteca hat it doesn't look too bad. It's like it's a skin hat. Looks fairly well. We have the Kuzak hat, which is a pretty awesome hat. You can make some pretty cool outfits of this, more like a, a Russian hat. I know a lot of people that wear this one. It's pretty cool. You make some pretty awesome outfits as well. And the Bowtel, that's what we'll call it, the Bowtel hat. This one... More of a, this one looks like you would wear it around Rhodes. It looks like a Rhodes hat to me. Let me know down in the comments if, if you agree with that. This looks like a nice, dapper, Rhodes-looking hat. I don't think I would wear it in Saint Denis uh, or any other town, but Rhodes, the southern-type hat, plantation hat, that's what it looks like to me, the Bowtell hat. And then we have the Irvin coat, or the Irwin coat. This definitely looks pretty nice. Pick up a few of these items if you'd like in the shop. They are good until May 26th, so they're giving us these for two weeks as well. Uh, so two weeks from now, we've got two Tuesdays, get these six items picked up. Two outfits, three hats, and a coat. Not too bad. So as you look forward to what's coming, there isn't quite, there's no information out at all. No new leaked information, of course. There's been older leaked information about a few roles, you know, the photographer role and all that, which I'm pretty excited about, but we haven't got anything from Rockstar yet as to when that's coming. Uh, we're kind of in limbo right now, and, and Red Dead's not doing very well. It has a lot of issues. Uh, I tried to make a video this weekend for yesterday's upload and had a bunch of issues. Yesterday we streamed, jumped into a solo lobby using the poker table method. I'll link a video up here right now if you guys know how to do that to get into that. And it, the game works a lot better that way. Uh, you're hosting your own game pretty much. You can only get six people in there, um, but the game works for you. Stuff spawns. You usually do some missions. I think I got disconnected last night while I was in there. Disconnect issues are still happening as well. I, I really hope Rockstar is is wanting to get this game back up to where it was back in like September, October, November time, even December when the Moonshot Rule came out. There was some major excitement for this game. We all were grinding like crazy, always playing it every night for hours, just grinding, having fun, goofing off, and lately, it just hasn't been there for anybody really. Hopefully they give us some information, give us a, a, a timeline or an outlook of what they're working on. A new interview with, with somebody, IGN or something, get out there and reach out to Rockstar. Ask them what the heck is going on, man. We need some information from them to let us know what's coming. If they drop right now and said, hey, this is what we're working on. We got these new roles. They're coming out in a couple months. Then I kind of would be okay with that if they just let us know what they're working on. The... The three Frontier Pursuits update roles that came out, Moonshiner, Collector, and uh, Bounty Hunter. The, no, Trader. Trader, Collector, and Bounty Hunter. Moonshiner came out a little later than that. Those roles were given to us months in advance, so we all had some super excitement. Super excitement to, to know those were coming out. But, you know, it took a while. We were, we were getting kind of upset that they weren't out yet, but at least we knew something was coming. Right now... 
we don't know what's coming and rockstar should you know at least let us know what's out there what they're working on get the excitement up we need some excitement in this game that's what we need right now the only thing really to good in this game is just to get drunk hang out and beat up everybody in the saloon because that's about all there is it's about all there is right now is to get drunk blow people up and uh beat up people and run around like chicken with your head cut off because there's nothing else really to do in this game hopefully this week we can grind a little bit of money with the moonshiner roll maybe we'll do some collections i don't know though we'll see how it goes hey guys if you like this video make sure to smash the like button if you do around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay. It's good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.